Last night, the Russians tried once again to pummel Kharkiv into submission. A cruise missile hit what Ukraine said was a dormitory for the elderly and deaf, some of whom may not have heard the sirens warning that an attack was coming. Though the Russians claimed, without evidence, that this was a base for foreign mercenaries. At least 15 civilians were reported killed in several strikes on Ukraine's second city overnight in a war which shows no sign of calming down, in which both sides seem deadlocked. So what chance of a major breakthrough between Ukraine's wartime leader and the world's most senior diplomat? Not much when the Russians can box Antonio Guterres into a corner rather than the other way round by using their UN veto. Though President Erdogan of Turkey has found a role as the regional Mr Big, providing Vladimir Zelensky with Turkish drones while refusing to sanction his fellow autocrat Vladimir Putin while keeping Turkey inside NATO. The Turks are planning to build bridges quite literally too, signing a deal to reconstruct those destroyed by bombing. But the Zaporizhia nuclear plant is of far greater concern. Mr Erdogan warned today of another Chernobyl disaster, while the Ukrainians and the Russians accuse each other of possibly launching an attack nearby tomorrow. The UN is trying to send nuclear safety inspectors to take a look for themselves. In between, military equipment and personnel should be withdrawn from the plant. Further deployment of forces or equipment to the site must be avoided. The area needs to be demilitarized. And we must tell it as it is. Any potential damage to Zaporizhia is suicide. The Turks are about to inspect this ship, the Brave Commander, currently at anchor off Istanbul and carrying Ukrainian grain to Africa. Over 600,000 tonnes of food have left Ukraine in the last three weeks thanks to a deal brokered with the Russians by the Turks and the UN. A lifesaver for the Horn of Africa, though a drop in the ocean compared with Ukraine's pre-war output. And the Russians are exporting as well. This is a satellite image of a Russian ship delivering wheat to a Syrian port. The Ukrainians have evidence that the wheat was stolen from them. This afternoon, Mr Erdogan said he was trying to use any goodwill generated by the grain deal to establish a lasting peace to end the war itself. But with both sides entrenched on the field of battle, that seems more than a touch premature.